I'm going to show you how to get Wi-Fi working on Ubuntu Server 2004 in case yours is not working, which happened to me. So currently I'm SSH into it via a wired connection. So I'm SSH into Ubuntu Server 2004. So to show you what I mean, um, this was the network name for my Wi-Fi. As you can see, it is not up. But like I said, I'm ssh via Ethernet, and this is up. So I'm going to show you what to do in case that's not working. And I'm going to assume the worst case scenario, which is you do not have a wired connection. So I've already downloaded the files I needed. I put it into a USB, and I plugged the USB into the laptop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cd into slash, then cd into media. I'm going to make a directory called USB. It already exists. OK. Okay, excellent. Um, and then I'm going to sudo fdisk l to find the name for my USB slash dev slash stv1, and I'm going to mount it. I'm going to mount it to the USB folder slash dev slash stv1. I'm going to mount it to USB. Now if I cd in, these are the packages. Sorry. These are the packages I need to install in order to get Wi-Fi up and running. So the command to do that is this, dash i for install. And I've already installed these already, so um, it's not going to actually download anything. It's just checking it up. And so what I like to do now is just unmount the USB because I'm done with it. <coughs> and I like to check that it is unmounted, um, just a sanity check. And yeah, there's no files there, so it's definitely unmounted. Next thing you need to do is um, you need to go back into the etc directory into that plan. And this is where you're actually going to configure some files to get your Wi Fi up and running. So initially, when you go to this, you should just see this file. Um, this one I made uh, just before I recorded this. So you're going to go into this file, and there's only Ethernet connection, there's no Wi Fi. So you're going to have to edit this. Like so. Indentation is very important. The network interface name, mine was WL01. Yours, yours might be different. Just check that with IPA. Set DHCP4 and DHCP6 both to true. Access point is going to be the actual name of the network you want to connect to. So if you're in your home network, just type in the actual name. I'm just going to type in home network here. And then it's going to need your passwords for the network. And then you want to save that, write out, exit it. I'm actually going to remove this because I don't need it. And I already configured mine with my actual home network name, and my actual home password. So I'm going to remove this. And there should only ever be one file in this directory. So sudo net plan generate. Sudo net plan apply. And this might actually solve your problem. And it solves mine. Now Wi-Fi is up and running. So just to prove that, I'm going to ping google.com. And it works. If that didn't work, um, what you would need to do then is you would need to do something else. You need to go back to CD, etc. And you would need to log in as your root. So dash s is how I log in as root. And you would need to do this command. Home network, whatever the home network name was. And it's going to be shoved into a configuration file for your double case supplicant. And here, this is where you type in the password for your network. And you press enter, and that's it. Okay, now exit because you don't never want to stay as root. And of course, um, the actual configuration file that I need is called correct.config. So I'm going to again remove um, this faulty configuration file. But before I do that, I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It just has the name of your network, 
a password and it generates this uh, number. So exit. I don't need that anymore. Okay. Next thing you need to do is sudo. Actually, no. The next thing is this. You need to know what driver you have. Oops. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to scroll down just to see the drivers for the Wi Fi. And yeah, this section here, it shows you the available drivers. Yours is most likely this, NL80211. Um, if it's not this, then you can try the other ones. Um, so I'm going to exit out of here. The command is sudo, let me just clear the screen first. sudo tokay underscore can dash b is for background, dash d is for driver, then you put in the name of your driver, mine was NL80211. And then dash i is the name of the network interface name, so wl01 for me. And dash c is where your configuration file is going to live. And I change mine to correct dot configuration. And it's successfully initialized. And after you've done this, then it'll show that your Wi-Fi is up. If the if the other case didn't didn't work, the plan didn't work. And that's it. That's how you get it up and running. Thanks for watching.